welcome back again to my wonderful channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be about, sorry, about PTSD. And I have looked up some stuff about it. And it will basically, and I'm not in the camera, <laughs> it will basically tell you exactly what the person thinks and what they feel. The thing I have looked up is as follows. Um, people may experience behavioral, which is agitation, irritability, hostility, hypervigilance, self-destructive behavior, or social isolation. The psychological side is flashback, fear, severe anxiety or mistrust, mood, loss of interest or pleasure in activities, guilt or loneliness. Um, sleep, insomnia, or nightmares, and also common, emotional detachment or unwanted thoughts. Next one. Uh, it says PTSD is diagnosed after a person experiences symptoms for at least one month uh, following a traumatic event. However, symptoms may not appear until several months or even years later. The disorder is characterized by three main types of symptoms re-experiencing the trauma through intrusive, distressing recollections or flashbacks, uh, emotional numbness, avoidance of people, places, and activities that are reminders of said trauma, increased arousal such as uh, difficulty sleeping and concentrating, feeling jumpy, and being easily irritated and angered. One minute. Diagnosis criteria that apply to adults, adolescents, and children older than six include those below. Exposure to actual or threatened death, serious injury or sexual violation. Directly experiencing the trauma event women. Yeah. What the heck? All these are out of order. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, it says, uh, experiencing repeated or extreme exposure to aversive details of the traumatic events. I'm going to skip ahead because I don't feel like reading all that out loud. Um, persistent, exaggerated negative beliefs or expectations about oneself, others, or the world. Example, I am bad, no one can be trusted, the world is completely dangerous, etc. Persistent, distorted blame of self or others about the cause of, cause or consequences of the traumatic events. Persistent fear, horror, anger, guilt, or shame. Marked, markedly diminished interest or participation in significant activities. Feelings of detachment or estrangement from others. Persistent inability to experience positive emotions. Two or more of the following marked changes in arousal or activity. Um, irritable or aggressive behavior, reckless or self-destructive behavior, hypervigilance. That just like... Okay, so that is all I had. Um, now... Personally, to me, PTSD is a very sore subject for me, considering my grandfather has PTSD. He drinks every day of his life. He doesn't take care of himself. He's basically killing himself, and he doesn't seem to care. But before that, before he took that self-destructive behavior, also known as drinking, he apparently was having flashback after flashback after flashback and me and my sister were not allowed to be around him period um we weren't even allowed to be at his house he had turned his his trailer into basically a military fort and 
I can only imagine as to what he go through, what he goes through on a daily basis, and I do not want to make this light or happy or any of the thing that I wanted to think about. I was thinking about this earlier today during work. There's a song that came on about Vietnam that Big and Rich made, and it kind of made me think about all that, you know. I would love to ask him about all that he's seen, all that he did over there, but I know better because I'm afraid that once I do ask him that, he will go back into a flashback or self-destructive self -destructive behavior in general. And anyone who has seen my channel has known that I talk about him whenever I can, maybe not all the time, but he is basically my favorite and I don't know what I would do if he ceased to live. It's one of those things that I wouldn't know what to do if my mother died, I wouldn't know what to do if he died. Those are my two favorite people in this entire world, it's my mother and my papa. So, while I want everyone to understand exactly what that means. I also want to give a warning that if you ever meet somebody with PTSD or something to that effect, don't pressure them, don't push them, or make them tell you things or pressure them into doing something that they they don't want to do. That may not go to your benefit. It actually may backfire on you. So that is my video. I know it's pretty much of a trigger video, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed some of it, at least a little. And I will see you guys next time for the next video.